Hello, hello, so another video, so I guess I need to take again this guru position, oh la la, again, oh la la, ok, ok, uh, uh, up, uh, up, uh. so this is the moment when I want to talk about the, the inner crazy monkey, so I did uh, like uh, some kind of auto portrait, and here with the tail, yeah, maybe you can notice he's holding a joint, so I'm gonna talk about cannabis, so this time, Oh, zero judgment for what I've done. Um, <sighs> only the herb can judge me. What am I saying? Nature, yeah, nature being pantheist. If pantheism, it's like as Spinoza Baruch said, nature is God. God is nature. It's not as a person, but as the nature, the whole universe, the whole thing. So then it's a part of God you're smoking. <laughs> I don't want to do any mindful. Too much, too much mind making love time. No, no. I want to talk about policies with the law and the drug that is dangerous for the chips you may order from the munchies. Like the chips you may get at the different convenience stores, you know, like uh, the chocolate bars. Maybe you're gonna be dangerous for the chocolate bars as well. The candies may be, oh, maybe indirectly dangerous to yourself because too much glucose and sugar after you get these munchies so maybe the munchies are more dangerous than the smoke itself i don't know funnily i don't smoke so i'm happy i'm not smoking and i'm gonna strangely make some videos about how not to smoke even if wow the best way to smoke is to respect it the herb i'm saying not something made by man it's less interesting but the herb no chemical strange things the herb but, so in some ways, you respect God if you believe in God. And me as an atheist, oh man, strange atheist, huh? uh, I also respect that. Wow, nice creation. The universe is so well designed. Mankind, no. Oh, sorry, I didn't say people kind, but I don't want to. Mankind didn't. But yeah, the nature is very well designed. Why am I talking about this? Wow. It's because... Also, the best way to quit is also to respect it. You respect the herb, you're gonna quit quite easily, rather than you wanna fight it. The more you give importance to it, the more you're gonna miss it, and you're gonna be like, okay, one day I'm not smoking, two days I'm not smoking, I want to find this running paper here, I wanna find, oh, I don't have the lighter, I have everything ready, but not the lighter. Ah, oh, no way, come on. And where to get it again? No. You just respect it. You know it was good. It is good. It makes you in your thoughts and all. But you also know you can be good without. Because naturally you were good without before you started. As a child, all these awesome moments you were having. Did you have to roll and to roll? No. You were super laughing with your friends for no reason running around, inventing the craziest games ever. You were playing the silly things and that was beautiful, it was silly. People forget these things sometimes. That's why I'm doing this group position now. Okay, sometimes it's good to be a child. All of this, you did it without smoking. So come on, you don't need that. You, okay, but then saying, I don't need it, but I, uh, I hate it so much now, you're gonna miss it and you're gonna be giving too much importance to it. No, respect it. Maybe allow yourself if you want to go back sometime, you will go back. And the, the more you will allow yourself, you want to go back to it, you can go back to it anytime you decide. The less you may have to, which is the paradox. So then, talking about this inner law, the sanctions you give to yourself, it's the inner law. I'm going to now talk about the outside law, yeah, because I studied law, <laughs> it's weird. Um, because when I see that alcohol is like, for me, it would make more sense if alcohol was prohibited and not marijuana. More following the natural thing, way of life, let's say. But no, 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 apparently people prefer to drive crazy and to, to really hurt each other or like potentially to fight or to say nonsense. Well, you can say poetic nonsense on marijuana weed. But you may say a mean, strange nonsense when you get drunk, but uh, if being drunk works for you, sometimes, okay, enjoy being drunk as well. Um, I don't drink. <laughs> what a boring guy am I? No, no, I'm joking. I'm still 
uh, I still have fun. I'm, I'm st I still don't drink, it's true. People, if they really insist, okay, or whatever. But for the smoke, I also don't smoke. Why? So I was talking before and now we talk again because just the news the starting with this channel of artificial friendships people caring only about what you're rolling and not about you they can sit next to you for that or they can just call you text you anytime it is about that again so that part I'm, I was like hey why am I the only healthy friend around for the others Actually, I'm the worst now because they're looking at me like I'm boring. Should I become an healthy with them? Then I'm going to be part of the group and liked. It's sad, very sad if you have to do it this way. But that often is the case. So I want to talk now this outside law, like the official one, voted by the kids in suits, the politicians, like the actors, they're good actors. They have a good person behind the mask. Well, you don't exactly know what they think, what they do behind, or what they proclaim, you know, but, 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 they are still the ones who decide for you, and then you get exposed to sanction, where policemen can catch you with this, and smoke it instead of you, and ask you for money, or put you in jail, or even death penalty, whoa, 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 okay. Strangely, my argument is that if it's not prohibited, People we smoke so much less. Why? Because people love to do the crazy monkey. They like to be rebels, specifically when they are young. They want to show they're against the system, they're against something. They're like, no, I'm not going to follow the official way. I'm not, I'm not going to follow the system, whatever you want to call it. So, therefore, that's why they're going to have some fantasies about the forbidden fruit, the forbidden herb in that case, rather than if... The government is always telling them, smoke, 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 smoke. By being rebelled, they will say, no, I don't want to smoke. It's not for me. Government, I'm not going to listen to you. But now government is like, don't smoke, don't smoke, don't smoke. Enough, government. You think it's better, like uh, investing so much in wars and doing this and that. Come on. Using our tax money to do, invade this country or whatever, do this, do that. Come on, I'm gonna smoke. Duh. That's how they think. So, in that case, we should almost have government telling all the time the people, smoke, 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 then they're gonna smoke less. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Unless people like so much the government. They want to be so good boys. But, again, this idea of the more you forbid something, the more you create the will in the mind of the others, to actually do what you're prohibiting. It works for a lot of things. Not only for something called illegal because it's bad for you. Because 300 people in the parliament decided it was bad for you. It's bad for you. But then the rest is like, okay. And when it's also there's like a huge part of culture in the appropriation of a drug. So like, because I call it a drug, you know. And it's like, oh... Uh, Hearing stories about drunk people, oh, that's very funny. But hearing stories about a guy who tripped out on mushrooms, <sighs> it's dark. Or like the LSD, <sighs> it's dark. Or like um, some cases, uh, just weed. <sighs> Sometimes for some it's still funny. <laughs> because they watch it on all this uh, gangster rap music, or Bob Marley, reggae and everything. So they have this image of other people who are like just quite chill, let's say. But then they also may say, it's dark. So the more you're surrounded by people looking at you like, you didn't go the right way. Oh, you went to a dark path. Like The more you see them worried about you, the more you may, because you love them, you respect them, you pay attention to what they might say, you may start feeling worried about yourself. The more you're surrounded by people like in India who tell you, I have a tip for you in case you smoke. What? I thought it was like uh, something serious. Eat some sweets. Ah, okay. <laughs> so once you are in a situation like that, you take it so much more lightly. Be careful though, if you have no other goal than rolling the next one. 
you know it deep down but this is a work you have to do by yourself this is not a youtuber who will tell you that and this is sometimes not even your friends who may have interest for you keeping smoking who may tell you that that's why i may appreciate if i become some kind of online friend managing to let you know that you're not alone in case you feel surrounded only by toxic people that you don't have to be in the toxic all the time because that would people around who would truly care about you or like at least wish you well no matter what and in case you go for such things they will still find a way through a strange compassion but yes a beautiful compassion to wish you well as well and that may be called love peace